raining right now. That's very good news. Why? Because uh, I'm going to buy the foam expanding uh, sealant and I'm going to fill those cracks in the fireplace. I put tissue paper as high as I could. I don't have to wait till spring or go get a garden hose to test. Did my roof seal work? Let's add 10 more dollars to the total. I'm getting this one because it has an insecticide inside. I will never stop being amazed living on the lake, how the boogeyman, the insects and bugs outside are doing everything they can to get inside. Thank you for shopping at the Home Depot. All right, so here's what I did. I crammed a piece of tissue paper. If any moisture is coming down, this is a problem. It's becoming an easy fix or Maybe I'm a little more qualified than I thought, but I don't want anything to come creep crawling in. So before I go to work today, I'm gonna seal that wall. It's going to expand probably past the drywall edge. I'll come in there and razor that out, finish this off. But uh, now again, but again, everything just needs to rest, settle. If I destroyed this for Christmas, it looks like I'm rebuilding it for New Year's. All right, that's success. The next step, get out a angle grinder and take away all, take away all the screw hardware. There's moisture in the wood still. I brought in a heat. A heat gun. I don't want to do any more, and by more I mean mess. I've made my mess that I can clean up today. All this barrier, look at this, all this barrier. It's why the drywall is not as flushed as it needs to be. So I'm gonna go here, I'm gonna prep sand and smooth all of this, extend the black painting, but I'm gonna chisel, I'm gonna chisel out all these pieces that are stopping the drywall from really being flushed. Because what they did is they just filled it with caulking. You know, it was like transitional bubble gum and I can make that better. So I'm gonna talk myself off this bridge. Ah, <sighs> but part of me is, is negotiating doing the other side, slicing out six inches, doing exactly the same thing the other side. There is no problem over there. <sighs> I think this is enough, but. Tell you why this is the most exciting part because I know I realize I'm not just fixing it, I'm making it better. Clean as you go. What's a cook's number one rule? Clean as you go. I don't play. Something. Okay. I can work with this. Oh my goodness, okay. It's an easy paint job because there really, there are no edges. question at hand is can I get a half inch thick, six inch wide, eight feet long piece of drywall for free? Look at those, these are drywall kickers. 
is actually what they separate drywall with. Anyway, these are free. Yeah. Oh, perfect fix. I think about, all right, all right, good. So we obviously know that free is good, but free comes with more taping because there's a concrete block in the back. I have to go for this. It's six inches, right? So I actually think this will help my skill set. So I'm not actually blending. I just have, and the curtain's going over it anyway, but I don't, that's not gonna be an excuse. want a hand sander and I want a foam sponge to paint the wall. You catch that? It was $69. It's probably a little more than I wanted to pay, but I didn't pay for the drywall, right? And if you want to know the truth, in smaller pieces, any, nothing else was going to fit in this car. So. I realized that I have a chimney leak. It might have been leaking all of summer. When I tore the wall open, I realized uh, it's been going on for a while. I discovered it Thanksgiving. I tore it up for Christmas, and I've spent Christmas week fixing it, letting it dry, treating it for mold. Okay, so last video's total was this. This now, I've spent that. This is what my total is. So I had the tools, I had the paint, I had the time. Yeah, the takeaway thing, but the takeaway is, um, hey Siri, what's the date and the time? It's Sunday, the 31st of December, 2023. As promised. Finished in time for New Year's. Happy New Year.